Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to create a program to automatically send happy birthday emails to your friends, family, or loved ones so that you never have to miss their birthdays again. Now before we begin with this program, if you like the videos on this channel then be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from this channel hit that bell notification. So I'm currently on Google's website called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So if you're following along in this video, go ahead and click on file, then click on new notebook where a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to put in some comments. I'm going to put in a description about the program. So I'm going to put this program says happy birthday emails from a list of birthdays to your friends. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the libraries that I'm gonna be using throughout the program. So these are very helpful libraries that makes things a little bit easier for us. So I'm going to import date time. I'm going to import pandas as pd. I'm going to import numpy as np. I'm going to import smtplib and I'm going to import SSL and then from email.mime.txt I'm going to import mime text as mt and then from email.mime.multipart I'm going to import mime multipart as mm and then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and this will let me know if I made any mistakes, which is very possible. But it looks like I'm good. So let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to load the birthday list data. So this list will contain birthdays for my friends, family, or whoever I want to send these emails to. So to do that, I need to use Google's library. So from google.colab, I'm going to I'm going to import files. So I'm just going to type files upload and then let's run this to upload the files. I'm going to click on choose files and I'm going to upload this birthdays.xlsx file. So that's an Excel file. And then I'm going to create a new cell. And in this cell I'm going to read in the data. So I'm going to create a variable called df and set it equal to pd.read underscore Excel. And I'm going to put in the name of that file. So I'm just going to come up here, highlight it, and then copy using control C, then come here and paste it using control V. And then I want to show the data. So I'm just going to type DF here so we can take a look at the data and run the cell. All right, so I misspelled um, PD here. I have PDL, so let's get rid of that L. Let's run this again, and now we can see the data. So we can see that it contains a column called name, which contains, of course, the names of my friends, family, uh, whoever I want to send the emails to, the date of birth for them, their birth month, and then their birth year, and then their email address. But you'll notice that the email address is all the same, and that's because that's my email address that I'm going to be using to send and receive emails just for this example. But you're going to want to put their email addresses here. So that's what we have for this small data set. I only have three rows of data, so I only have three friends. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to basically create a function to send emails. All right, so I'm going to call this function email email underscore func which will be short for function and it's going to take in some subject and then it's going to take in some birthday receiver birthday receiver email right and then a name so uh, I think that looks good so next I'm going to store the email addresses for the receiver so let's see receiver and the sender all right also I need to store the senders email password all right so let's create some variables I'm gonna create a variable called receiver and I'm gonna set it equal to the birthday receiver from our parameter up here which will of course be one of these email addresses here but again I'm going to be using the same email address for sending and receiving these happy birthday emails just to show you all how it works all right and next I'm going to create a variable called sender and I'm going to set it equal to 
this email address. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put some quotes here and then paste it using control V. So of course I copied it using control C and I'm pasting it here using control V. All right. And that's the sender's email address. So that's my email address. And then the sender's password. So I'm creating a variable called sender password. I'm going to set it equal to my password, which is Python password123. And by the time this video goes up, this email and or password will have changed. So, you know, there's no point of trying to get into it or hack it or whatever. All right. So it's just going to be a burner account. And of course, you're going to want to put your actual email address here, not mine, and your actual password to your email address here. All right. And then here will be the email address of the person that you want to uh, send these happy birthday emails to. OK. All right. So next, let's go ahead and create the HTML for the message. So I'm going to create a variable called HTML. I'm going to set it equal to this string here. So let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. All right. So I'm going to put a HTML tag. And let me go ahead and just end that HTML tag before I forget. All right. And then I want to put a body tag here. And I'm going to go ahead and, oops, uh, let me go ahead and end the body tag. All right. Okay. So now inside this body tag, I'm going to put a header. So I'm going to put header one. And I'm going to put happy birthday with an exclamation point and then I'm going to end the header tag and then I'm going to put in a image so I'm going to put the image tag here IMG and I'm going to set the source equal to some some image source and I have a perfect image for this here so this is the image that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to click copy image link. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it. Use control V. All right. And then I'm going to set alt equal to image. And then I'm going to set the width equal to 640. And I'm going to set the height equal to 360. All right, and then I'm going to end the image tag. So I'm just going to put backslash IMG here. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and credit the person who took the photo. So I'm just going to put a P tag here and then put photo by and then colon sugar days. And let's go ahead and end that P tag and let's create a second header. So H2 tag. I'm going to go ahead and end the, the H2 tag. OK, so here I'm going to put a P tag and I'm going to put hello and then put a comma and a line break here. And I'm going to put I hope you have a wonderful day today, exclamation point, and then two, two new lines. And I'm going to put from semicolon and put a new line. And then I'll put your friend. OK. All right. So let me put this tag there. And all right. I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and close that P tag. And that looks good. All right. And before I forget, let's go ahead and create a mime multi-part object. So I'm going to create a variable called msg, short for message, and I'm going to set it equal to mm. All right, so I'm going to give my message a subject. So I'm going to set the subject equal to the subject from our parameters plus a space plus the name of the person cast it as a string plus a exclamation point all right so now i'll put 
like a parameter here that says happy birthday so it'll say something like happy birthday Alex all right so happy birthday would be the subject and then of course it put the name so happy birthday Alex all right so I think that looks good let's go ahead and create a HTML mime text object all right because we've already created our mime multi-part object and now we're going to create a mime text object all right so let's call this mtobj and set it equal to mt and we're going to put in the html that we created there and we need to tell it that this is html okay so next i'm going to attach the mime text object into the message container so just type message dot attach and then we're going to attach the empty object that we just created okay next we need to create a secure connection with the server and send the email all right so first thing I need to do is create the secure socket layer also known as SSL context object so I'm going to create a variable called SSL underscore context and I'm going to set this equal to SSL dot create default connection or sorry uh, create default context okay and next I want to create the secure simple mail transfer protocol or SMT for short so simple mail transfer protocol connection all right so I'm gonna create a variable called server I'm gonna set this equal to SMTP lib dot SMTP underscore SSL all right and I need to give it a host so I'm gonna set the host equal to uh, Google's outgoing mail server so that's SMT SMTP dot gmail.com and I'm going to set the port equal to 465 and then the context will be equal to our SSL underscore context all right so I think that looks good let's go ahead and log in to the email account so just type server dot login and we're going to put in the senders email address and then the senders password and then we're going to send the email so just type server dot send mail and put in the sender and then put in the receivers address and then put in the message as string and that should be it let's go ahead and run this and see if we get any errors and we didn't so I like that okay so now it's time to execute and run the program so I'm going to create a a variable called today to get today's date so first I'm going to get today's date so I'm going to set today equal to date time dot date dot today all right and then I want to get the current year so I'm going to create a variable called year and set it equal to date I'm sorry it said equal to today dot year and then I'm going to loop through the birthday list to send emails to friends family or whoever whose birthdays are today all right so for I in range zero to the length of the data set I want to get the person's month and so that's easy enough I'm gonna create a variable called month and set it equal to DF birthday month and then I want to get the person's day of birth and actually is month equal to DF birth month at position I all right, so next I want to get the person's day of birth. So I'm going to create a variable called day and set it equal to DF um, 
birth underscore day at position I and then I want to get the person's name so I'm create a variable called name and set it equal to DF and then uh, get their name at position I and then I want to I want to get the person's email address all right so I'm create a variable called email set it equal to DF email at position I and then I want to then I want to get the person's birthday all right so I'm gonna create a uh, birth date so I'm gonna create a variable called birth date and I'm gonna set it equal to date time dot date and I'm gonna input the year I'm gonna input the month and I'm gonna input the day all right so now I want to check if today is that person's birthday so that's easy enough Let's put a little if statement here if birth date is equal to today then we're going to email them so we're going to use that email function that we created earlier I'm going to put in the subject happy birthday and I'm going to put in their email address and then their name and then I'm going to put a little print statement for me that lets me know that we're sending happy birthday to someone so sent happy birthday else I'm going to put a print statement to let me know that we did not send so did not send happy birthday all right so let's go ahead and let's go back here and I'm in my account my gmail account and you can see that there are no emails as of yet so let's go ahead and minimize this and let's run this cell okay and so we can see that we did not send happy birthday for the first person in our list we did send happy birthday for the second person in our list and we did not send happy birthday for the third person in our list so let's go back here and let's see if we have an email all right so I just clicked on inbox here to kind of refresh this and let's open this so we can see that the subject line is happy birthday Tom which is what we expected it says happy birthday and then we have this nice little image of course the photo was by sugar days and then we say hello I hope you have hope you have a wonderful day today from your friend and that's basically it now if this doesn't work for you then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to click on this um, this Google account your Google account and then you're gonna click on manage your Google account and that should send you right here and then you're gonna click on security and then you're going to scroll down to where it says less secure app access and you're going to want to turn this on of course Google does not recommend that you turn this on I'm just going to give you a warning now but right now I have it turned on for this project and for this example and that's what you will have to do to get this running all right so thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the patreon supporters on patreon.com if you would like to become a supporter of this channel I will leave a link in the description below Thanks again for watching, and I hope you all learned something new, and I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.